this example, we're given the vectors a and b, and we've been asked to calculate a plus b, a minus b, and we've been asked to find the form of vector c, given that we have 2a plus 3b plus c is equal to the zero vector. So looking at a plus b, we have a, which is 2 minus 4, 3. We're adding it to b, which is 5 minus 1, 7. So when we add two vectors together, we just add each of the components. So we add the x components, the y components, and the, the z components. So we have 2 plus 5. We have minus 4 plus minus 1. And we have 3 plus 7. Now, 2 plus 5 is 7. Minus 4 plus minus 1 is minus 5. And 3 plus 7 is 10. Therefore, a plus b is 7 minus 5, 10. Now, let's look at a minus b. So we have a minus b. Now, a is 2 minus 4, 3. And we take away from it b, which is 5 minus 1, 7. So when we take away two vectors from each other, we just take away each component. So we have 2 minus 5. We have minus 4 minus minus 1. And we have 3 minus 7. Now 2 minus 5 is minus 3. Minus 4 minus minus 1 gives a plus 1. So we have minus 4 plus 1, which is minus 3. And we have 3 minus 7, which is minus 4. So we say that a minus b is minus 3 minus 3 minus 4. Now finally, we've been asked to calculate 2a plus 3b plus c, and we've been asked to find c when these are all equal to the zero vector. So we'll see that c is equal to the zero vector minus two lots of a minus three lots of b. So the zero vector is just zero, zero, zero minus two lots of vector a. Now vector a is two minus four, three. Minus three lots of vector b, and vector b is five minus one, seven. So what we're first going to do is multiply each vector by the scalar that it has out in front of it. So we're going to have 0, 0, 0, that one's unchanged. Then we have minus, now we've got two lots of vector a. So when we take the 2 in, we'll get 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 times minus 4, which is minus 8. 2 times 3, which is 6. And then we have minus 3 lots of vector b. So we have minus 3 lots of 5, which is 15. 3 lots of minus 1, which is minus 3 and 3 lots of 7, which is 21. Now all we need to do is take away the components. So we have 0 minus 4 minus 15. We have 0 minus minus 8 minus minus 3. And 0 minus 6 minus 21. So working all of these out, we have minus 4 minus 15, which is minus 19. We have minus minus 8, so that's plus 8. Minus minus 3, so that's plus 3. So we have 8 plus 3, which is 11. We have minus 6 minus 21, which is minus 27.